Bruce A. Selner is the 2012 Outdoor Amusement Business Association Pioneer Award honoree. Mr. Selner is being recognized because he was an innovative amusement industry manufacturer with a friendly and helpful spirit. His story begins with a family-owned business in Faribault, Minnesota called Selner Manufacturing, a company started in 1923 by Bruce's grandfather, Herbert W. Selner. Herbert's love of woodworking led to the invention of the Selner water toboggan slide. Riders climbed to the top of the slide and zoomed down, gliding 100 feet across the water. The Selner Swooper, pictured here, thrilled riders of all ages. The first tilt-a-whirl with nine wooden passenger cars and a four-cylinder gasoline engine operated in 1926 at Wildwood Amusement Park in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Carolyn Heskett was 21 when she was hired in 1963 to work at Selner Factory selling parts over the phone. She remembers meeting 11-year-old Bruce during his visits to the factory. Bruce attended the University of Minnesota, a musician who marched with the band at Golden Gopher football games. He served in the United States Army at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and married Toba, his high school sweetheart, before returning to Faribault to work in the family business. In 1985, Bruce conceived the futuristic Astro Base Command, a combination ride, dark ride, and computerized shooting gallery. Many say that the Astro Base Command was a quarter century ahead of its time. In 1987, Bruce Selner invented the first of a series of Selner spin rides, the Spin the Apple. Four to six giant apples rotate in a circle while passengers control the spin of their individual apple. More spin rides follow. Fairy go round, barrel of fun, bear affair, pumpkin patch, monkey mayhem, and dizzy dragons. Rental companies could even purchase a single car spin ride. While serving as an officer of the Midwest Showman's Association, Bruce Selner passed away on September 4th, 1995, awaiting a heart and lung transplant. At 44, he was at the top of his career. Tova and their daughter Erin carried on with the Selner family tradition. In 1999, with the OABA in great need to raise money for the Amusement Industry Defense Fund, the Selners donated a brand new $80,000 10th Anniversary Edition Berry Go Round to be sold at silent auction. Billy Clark of Smoky Mountain Amusements was the high bidder. Billy says, I wanted to support the industry and bidding on the Berry Go Round was a great way to do it. The Berry is a wonderful family ride and it continues to make money for me today. 17 years after his death, tributes to amusement industry friend Bruce Selner continue. Uh, Bruce Selner, uh, I think him and I were pretty good friends. He, um, he would show up with his motorhome and uh, be parked in my driveway, and spend a night in my driveway. I would wake up and I'd look out the bathroom window and there would be his motorhome. Bruce, uh, he called me uh, Mr. Showman. Bill, Bill, Mr. Showman, because uh, all the involvement I had with the Showman's League of America, and and he always wanted to sell me an apple ride, and I and I couldn't afford the apple ride. He he decided that uh, he was going to give me an apple ride, so he he gave me an apple ride, and I didn't have to pay him uh, until the end of the season for three years. So if it wasn't for Bruce Selner, I probably would have never owned the apple ride. I, I miss Bruce. He, he he's a close friend, and and it's unfortunate that the. Uh, uh, the good die young. Greg Hughes of Family Fun Shows says that Selner was a happy man with a great sense of humor, very giving and always upbeat. He knew the history of all his rides and the people who owned them. Bruce sold me my first tilt -a whirl a used model, on a handshake with no down payment, helping me to start my show. Bruce Selner's invention, the Dizzy Dragons, was my very first brand new ride, bought in 1990. Bruce Selner, uh, back in the summer of August, it was uh, 1991, came and visited the show. And uh, Connie and I met with him, and uh, he told this young man, he says, you've got to get in on these new uh, carnival rides I'm selling, these spin rides. I've got this strawberry ride, and 
If you give me a $500 deposit here in August right now, uh, you can take delivery of it at the Gibsonton trade show there, and uh, it was the best move we ever made, and uh, and uh, and Bruce was right. It was a very good ride for us. And one thing about Bruce was that he understood that the carnival business worked on weekends and holidays, and if you needed a part, he was there for you after five. And that, that was really nice knowing you had that backup. Carolyn Heskett says that Bruce loved the industry and the customers loved him. He had a creative and inventive mind. The wheels were turning all the time. Bruce loved the Gibtown show and he had a great relationship with other ride manufacturers. Joe Burem of the Showman's League says that Bruce was wise beyond his years. He inspired innovation and put new ideas into motion. And tonight, February 10th, 2012, Bruce A. Selner is presented with the Outdoor Amusement Business Association Pioneer Award. <laughs>